French soldiers prepared Bangui's airport for the arrival of French troops. France announced its intention to deploy some 1,000 troops to the Central African Republic in a bid to stop a string of abuses allegedly carried out by militia gangs and ex-members of the mostly Muslim Seleka rebel coalition that toppled CAR's leader in a March coup. We were in Libreville, where the unit was just finishing up a mission in the middle of the jungle, and their mission was to create a landing strip. After that, we took up this project and we came here by Antonov. For everything to do with airports, our goal is also to advise and orient the airport directors. Our job is everything that has to do with airports. For example, this landing strip we have been asked to advise. We are coming here as experts on everything that has to do with the airport infrastructure. On Sunday, 500 troops from neighboring Republic of Congo prepared to join the African-led MISCA force in the CAR, which has around 2,500 soldiers in place. The force has, however, failed to get off the ground due to lack of funds and training. The U.S. has pledged to provide 40 million U.S. dollars in assistance to the African Union-led peacekeeping mission in the country. Meanwhile, rebels began withdrawing from Bangui as efforts to improve security in the country got underway. This week, the United Nations Security Council will vote on a French-drafted resolution aimed at strengthening the African stabilizing force on the ground. That vote will be followed by a mini-summit on the CAR unrest in Paris on Saturday. Some 40 African leaders, including Central African Prime Minister Nicolas Tianganye, as well as the UN Chief Ban Ki-moon, will attend. Ex-President Francois Bozizé was toppled by Seleka coalition and replaced with the country's first Muslim president, Michel Jotodier, who then formally disbanded the rebels. Human rights groups say ex-Seleka members, security forces and militia gangs are torturing and executing villagers and perpetrating widespread rape. The United Nations estimates that the latest strife has forced 400,000 people, or 10% of the population, to flee from their homes. Analysts warn that the conflict could engulf the country's neighbors. Susan Mongeli, CCTV.